Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and in this tutorial I want to show you how to send a meeting invite through Microsoft Outlook. So if you have a meeting that you want to schedule with someone, sometimes it's good to send them a formal meeting invitation so they can get it on their end and record it to their calendar. So you click on new items, you go down and click on meeting, and when you click on meeting you'll see it will open up a dialog box that I had previously opened and filled in with some basic information. And once you fill in this information as you see fit, you simply will go up and click on send. And when you send that, it will go to the person you're sending it to and they'll have the ability to decline it or accept it or there might be an optional time. So at this point I'm going to show you my other account. When this box pops up, just ignore it. That's some software that I use in conjunction with my setup here in my office. Just ignore that if you see that box pop up on my end, you will not see that. So when you open up the other account or my other account, it's sort of like looking at the other contact you're sending it to. And you'll notice up top it says test old dog meeting right there. And I'm going to double click on that and what it will do is it will open it up. Up on the top right hand corner you're going to see it says accept tentative, decline, or I can propose a new time. So you have some options in each one of these drop downs, but in this case all I'm going to do is click on accept and that's going to send a response back to a per the person that sent it and second it's going to take this time, this scheduled time, and automatically put it on my calendar. So if you, and again when this box pops up just ignore that, that's a little bit different software. But when I look at the calendar, you're going to see it took that proposed time and put it right on my calendar. Now, I wish I had made this for a little bit in advance, not just a half hour in advance, but maybe a day or two in advance, just so it would be a little clearer. But it schedules it on my calendar so that I have it and I don't have to do an extra step there. So now what we're going to take a look at is what does it look like once that's accepted and it goes back in the other direction to the original person that sent it. So when that person receives that email, as you see right here, it says accepted test old dog meeting. Because it's accepted, it's on my calendar as well as the other calendar of the other person. So based on how you have Microsoft Outlook set up, you'll get a reminder of this meeting shortly before it's to occur so you can prepare or just frankly be ready for that meeting. So that's all you really do. It's really quite easy to work with. It takes a little practice, but you'll get it no problem. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Hollowitz. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye now.